Good morning. I hope you guys are all being blessed. Um, I went to bed super early last night. And so I woke up super early on a Sunday, which bits and pieces I've been going throughout the house or whatever, trying to throw away things or whatever, get rid of, you know, free up some space so it'll give more energetic cleansing around my space because I have to, like, do that because it I hate for things to be cluttered and I had let it get a bit too cluttered. Then my the baby broke my bedroom well, the bedroom doorknob or whatever, so I got to fix it, whatever, whatever. So, to make a long story short, guys, collective, I hope you guys are all being blessed. I'm going to want you guys to stay tuned in to my channel. Um, how you get blessed, you have to be a blessing to others. And it's very important for us to start with our heart. Um, you know, cause from the heart, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it, it will give you more abundance. It will help bless you. It will bring, you know, blessings in for you or whatever. People don't realize that, you know, they just stay closed in. People think that I'm just closed in and to myself, I go and mingle with the lowest of the lowest people. I go kick it still um, to this day with drug addicts or whatever, like just trying to get inside, you know, see where they're at in their mental because I've been there. I've been down there with them when I, you know, those are people that, you know, me growing up, they were around me. That's who we dealt with people like that from the lowest of the lowest from the streets or whatever. So, you know, then I would, you know, I always would pull myself back because, you know, I had a lot of mental things going on with me, mental that really needed to be dealt with. People have came and they're coming trying to make as though you're doing something wrong, woo, woo, woo. but the thing of it is, is they're going to catch themselves up. You're going to realize later or whatever, just like with um, tarot and dealing with tarot. This is the message that I have for you guys. A person will never be able to go and act like I don't know what I've been doing because when God is leading and guiding you or whatever, you know, at the moment, it may look like you can point the finger and judge that person. But as long as God is in control, they're going to the person that's trying to make you and point the finger and make you look like someone that you're not or make you look less than them or try to degrade you or belittle you or make you look like a hypocrite, a liar, a cheater or anything like that. And then you got receipts that's showing that you haven't been doing these were the same things that you were speaking on i'm gonna tell you something about tarot i be loving it when people you know come for me and think like i've been through so many life challenges from a child till now to like a lot of this stuff is like nothing that i haven't seen before or whatever and if your pp brain ass is sitting up here thinking that a car a house and all of that is worth more than someone's self-value, then you got something going on with you that you need to work on. Because apparently you are willing to die or whatever um, and put money in cars or you will go put your life in jeopardy to get money, cars, all of that or whatever and lose your life because you felt that accomplishing or trying or material things meant more than your life value, than you as a person, than your self-worth was less than materialized things. And so, you know, you just got to let people be 
you know, who they are. And it's coming out. God is slowly but surely, God is exposing people for who they are, who they have been. They are mad because you calling them out. You don't go and get a body job or whatever and then say, for instance, because they say, you know, people, and I've seen it around here, so can't no one tell me anything about don't try to make yourself look. All you got to do is stay in your lane, appreciate um, the good compliments when they do come to you, but you don't go get boobs and ass and hips and plastic surgeries and things like that and go have a baby and it make you bigger because you've had a child and then try to forget the fact that you didn't got a ass job or tit job or because it then happened to plenty of girls around here and to me you know almost you know they did that stuff when they were younger and then they went along and started having one and two and three more kids and man it it didn't even you know it gave them the body shape that they probably have always wanted because they had already before they start having kids went and got this body job and what it does is it spreads you out even wider it, it may add you know some adduction to your hips or your butt or your tit it blow these people up most likely it does i've seen it happen to these younger girls that's like my daughter's age they went when they were in their 20 something and they got these the butt job and tits jobs and they came back, they started having more kids, and now they're, it blew them way up to where some of those girls, like, they look like older women. They look like Atlanta housewives. They look like more fuller built women, like, you know, they say that they was trying to get at Mulatto about Big Mulatto. You know, I'm not jealous by no means necessary. You make your money. You have to dress yourself up. You got to go do these things. If I had the money, I'd be doing it. And, you know, people try to keep me from getting to where God want me to be at. But you can't stop me. You could do it energetically. You could try to cover up my shine. You could try to cover up who I am naturally. I'm a supernatural, natural ass person. And it gets real around here. So I'm going to come to you naturally. I'm going to come to you in the spirit of light. I'm going to come to you. Darkness not going to have anything to do with it. So God going to always be for what I'm doing. And so therefore, you're never going to be at the time. It may look like you're winning. You may get people to link up, click up, come against me, do ugly things towards me. Say things about me, try to make people look at me different, try to make people look at me like I'm underhanded or I'm below you. And God is going to always prevail. God always wins. So spiritually and of the light, it's something that someone's going to make you look like you wanted me to look and going to put you in the place that you wanted me to be that's underneath everyone. And God is going to prevail and I'm going to excel and I'm going to be above and beyond. And that's the thing. You can do whatever you think that you're doing or whatever God, you know, at first I was getting angry because I know what people are doing because he gave me a gift to see what you, what people are doing towards me. And if you notice that I block you, you know, I got a strong feeling of what you've been doing. You're not right. And I'm not saying I don't care for you. I care for your, your what you're doing that's wrong to people and what you're trying to do to me. I care about that. So before I go into spiritual warfare with you, when God is showing me who you are and showing me what you're doing, I'm going to block you. And wherever God tell me you're connected to is going to be blocked. Eventually, it will be blocked off from me. And you won't be able, I told you what God wanted me to tell you. I know what you're doing. And, you know, just go to God and change it. Repent and change. It's nothing to it. You don't have to come for people. You don't have to see them as a threat. You don't have to 
try to dummy them down. You don't have to make them look like they're limitless and you want to take their power and things of that nature because no one is limitless. God is not going to allow you. You're not God Almighty and you can't make anyone stay or continue to be limitlessly from the things that you're trying to do with your negative energy and your dark energy. And what gets me is I hate people try to get up on platforms and make themselves try to look like they're something that they're not. Okay, to do with sage, sage is spices. I got scriptures for sage. You got these holier than thou people. Actually, sage help people with Alzheimer's. It's multiple reasons of what sage could do to clear your energy. Sage is a spice. Sage be used on Thanksgiving. So there's nothing wrong with burning sage. Sage is just like writing down stuff that you want to get rid of and putting it out into the universe and praying to God and telling God to take these negative things. It's the same thing. Stop trying to be holier than thou like you know something about someone or you trying to make someone look like they're hypocrite in it or whatever, whatever. I've been on both septic tanks, both sides of the scale or whatever. So now, I'm, you know, I mainly I try to stay in the middle of everything that I see that's going on because you can look at someone that is rich, that got a high status quota, they got money, that's billionaires, and they could be the sickest, richest, ugliest, evil these people have stole from the poor to get to where they're at. You cannot underestimate no one. So that's why I'm just in the middle and I'm looking at everything and everybody and everything around me. That's what God is telling me to do. He said, for no means by no means necessary, do you look at this person because of what they're doing and how they're living and think that they are less closer to me than a person that's sitting in a church house, a person that's uh, preaching off the pulpit. He said, because it's not true. That's why he tell us or whatever. If you let man deceive you, I'm going to come deceive you. So it's a bunch of deception going on and people at the highest expand. People are using God's name to put on a front and make themselves look like someone that they're not. A person can come and tell you anything. They can be on TikTok. Like I noticed, it's a lot of people jumping in now and they using my story that I literally lived. And you got people playing like, and they're going viral. Like I, I sold drugs and, you know, they be out here and they think the stuff is funny. You don't take a person's testimony that really have lived this, that brought them hurt, pain, misery, and they was, you know, in the mud or whatever and try to joke about it to get money, to get recognition on these platforms, knowing that's something that you haven't lived or you haven't done. You women need to quit playing with your kids and all of that, getting on these platforms for money and to try to go viral and to try to be looked at as something that y'all not. Y'all took a lot of these people took my testimony, things that I was saying Never giving me props, never coming in and telling me thank you, none of that. My testimony, it have made a lot of people money. They're getting on, I'm noticing more and more and more. They didn't get that from no one, but because they, they wasn't talking about it before. My stuff went global on here that I didn't know that was going global, that I was speaking my personal life issues that was very hurtful and are so close and dear to my heart. You got these people doing TikToks, doing all kinds of stuff, and they're talking on the lines of things that I really live. I don't think it's funny and God is going to get them. You know, it's not going to turn up good for them because they looked at it as a joke and a, a, a get rich quick scheme to do things or whatever, to try to make them money and get them recognition and do all this stuff. You're going to, you putting a curse on yourself because it wasn't a lie and the stuff was really real. You know what I'm saying? So it's no worry for me to worry about it no more, but move on. Forgive y'all and move on because y'all ignorant. 
y'all, you know, y'all think y'all take stuff for a joke and you think it's funny. It's not funny or whatever. And if you did that to other people, it's coming back for you and you're not going to be rich. You're not going to be wealthy. You're going to be right back at that place that you were because you took it from someone and you joked about it. You thought it, you took it for granted. You took it as when you should have been taking it into consideration. Like a lot of you moms that let these men go and joke and play about that. Oh, I was weak minded and I was sick and I was walking spiritually blind. And I let all these different men come inside my house and molest my kids, molest my son. And now he's gay and he's up on here, you know, making a living for himself, you know, using other people's story about what other people's story about to make money but when he really need to be using the story that really happened in our household that really broke us that started making us be uh uh unemotional uh, available for one another and drew a wedge between our family where my, me and my child don't see eye to eye really anymore because this is what really happened to me. It was a man I was dating that molested my son. That's why he's gay right now. That's why he's transgender right now. That's why he's, no, they don't want to talk about that. You can't look at these church people and take them for as though they're better than a person that sit in the tarot room and practice and uh, do, use divination and all of that. You can't use, you can't look at a person that's been sitting on a pew pit for 20 years that's up on a uh, 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 platform or whatever that's preaching, teaching and doing so forth that's been cheating on their wives, molesting kids, um, stealing money from the congregation, stealing from the period, not helping the poor, doing all of that. They ain't no different than a tarot reader that's practicing and see, that's the thing. They'll never be able to get me like that because as soon as they come, I'm going I'm to show them where to get off at. You know why? God would never let me excel and move above because it was never meant for me to. It was never meant. You know how these people get on here. You got tarot readers that then hacked into people's uh, other readers and other people that they see that's on YouTube. They hack their phones, all of that. They get information to make contents and getting stories off of your messenger and off of your your uh, your emails and different stuff. They're prying in your information to make uh, to do readings off of or whatever. They didn't hack your stuff, and they got a hundred and something k uh, subscribers or whatever. But that wasn't enough for them. Or whatever, so they had to hack inside of your stuff because they're nosy, because they seen that you was of greatness. They know that your information is so they had to have it. So they didn't hack it. So a lot of them or whatever, they think that I'm just sitting back here. When God gets you, He's gonna get you. And you're gonna go down and you're gonna feel it because I felt it or whatever. How do it feel to be your stuff to be hacked and to for people to pry into your information? And, and, and try to get stuff or whatever that's helping their benefit to give out to the public for money and to get recognition and to get more subscribers while you was down here. It was for me to stay down here. It never was meant. God wouldn't. I kept on wondering, like, wow, you know, I didn't gave out so much and I've been working so hard and planting all these seeds all over YouTube Global. Where is my harvest, said God? Like, you know what I'm saying? Where are these people at? You know, they know I've been helping them. Where is my money at? Where is it? Because I'm down here really, you know what I'm saying? I've been working or whatever. Now you got these readers or whatever. They'll get up on here and go to trying to tell you, you need to start looking towards stability and go and find a job or go do this or go do that. When you've been working, you didn't work overtime and they took it. They stole it. They did the ultimate or whatever to no end. And they thought it was funny. It's not going to be funny anymore because God going to take them out of their job, out of their position, take their items, take their gifted. He's even going to take you away where they're not going to be able to make no money anymore because they took it for granted and they still did not balance the scale. They wanted to cheap, treat you like a cheapskate when God meant for them as you was given to them. They were supposed to be given to you. They were supposed to be balancing the scales. No, they wouldn't do it. 
They just take, take, take. And now they buy, they've been behind the scenes stealing your items. They've been taking them. They've been using them. They've been poking fun. They've been trying to make you look like you're less than. They know where the information came from and they still deny you. God says that he's going to deny them too. Their stuff is going to be wiped clean. I'm going to walk away. And, and, and eventually it's going to happen because I warn a person and I keep telling them this before it happened and when i walk away they're not gonna have they're gonna be drip drain dry nothing nothing is gonna be manifested anymore you were a great asset to these people you were a great manifestation and they still couldn't see the blessing they still chose to take instead of give to you they see your cash app on there they see where they can get con in contact with you they know that they're supposed to be given to you and they chose not to. Instead, they want to take from you. They want to act like they're a pimp and you're a prostitute. That's why any and everything can be used as that scenario. Everyone's pimping. And they want to use someone as a prostitute. But here's the catch. God speak about that a lot in his word. And nothing about it was being funny. So do you think I'm your prostitute? No. Never. I'm a serv servant for the Lord. So when they come to me, go to trying to tell me all about sage and these overly Christian ass people that know that their heart's not right too, because a lot of them need to line it up and get their hearts right. If you were right, you wouldn't be so selfish. You wouldn't be a money hungry ass person either. You wouldn't be grimy either behind the scene. You wouldn't be a hater. You wouldn't be of jealousy. You wouldn't be jealous of the next woman either. You wouldn't be doing what you're doing either. If you were so holier than thou, but you be the same person on TikTok going viral and all of that because of your energy, negative energies attract people is going to be attracted to you when you're really of the light and you're chosen. Those people come far by few. You won't see too many people because though that person is going to be true. They're going to tell you something you don't want to hear. They're going to give you raw and cut love. They're going to do it in action they're gonna they're givers, they're not takers. They don't like lies and cheating and stealing and manipulation and all of that. They come with the sword. That's why I love the king, the queen and king of swords, because they're gonna speak their truth and they're gonna cut you down like a double-edged sword. And that's what God brought them, put them on this earth for, or whatever, or whatever to come to do, or whatever. They are the prophets and the mediums and all of that and so forth. I jump in terror or whatever because I read people. I know what people are doing and I know who they are. God gave me a gift. And I've been using this gift all my life and how I know that it's legitimate because God has showed me things in the supernatural and spiritual realm that I know can never be denied or whatever. So you think I'm going to take my gift lightly? No, I know who you are. I know what you're doing and I'm not going to underestimate it or whatever. And so when I tell you something and I know or whatever, I may do it, you know, just speaking in general. But you know that it's for you because you know that you're doing it or whatever. No, by all means necessary. Am I perfect? No. I'm not. God is still working on me too. But what I won't do is sit around a big bunch of jealous hearted ass people, mainly black people on black. That's why a lot of this bull snap is happening or whatever. And watch you sit up here and hate on me and want me to be at the bottom of the barrel. Like at the bottom of the pit when God told me I didn't belong there. I belong in the high heights. So why do you think I'm going to allow you to stomp on me and make me feel that I am under you? You cannot have my power. You've used your power abusively long enough. It's not for you to take anyone else's power to uh, use for your best interest. You need to try to get some power and that's clear your spirit. That's change your ways. That's repent. That's change. Turn and change. Turn and change your ways, your ugly ways. So your spirit can be filled where you can use your own power. You can step out in your own power. You can be seen in your own power. Your light will shine from you, yourself. You won't have to take anyone else's light. You won't have to try to uh, keep someone from being seen because you'll be being used by your own. 
and then you'll know how it feel that everything is not going to be always gravy. Things are not just going to rise to the top for you overnight because you have wretched and grabbed and took and dummy down and stomped on people and hurt other people to try to get somewhere in life. You'll know how it feels then if you have to work hard spiritually and energetically and physically and get beat down in your spirit by other people that don't like you and try to deny you because you're truthful. You'll know what that feel like and it'll teach you to appreciate who you are as a person and you won't want to be anyone else. You'll love yourself. So guys don't you know these people spices is in the bible or whatever uh crystals and rocks and all of that those things are of nature they're around the mountain don't take all of this stuff you know into consider Christ, crystals you can ha have crystals you can buy crosses that are made of crystals you can the rock cried out for jesus you understand me or whatever and it needed to be uh, filled up with water, you know, because it was crying and hurting. It was, you know, drained or whatever. You know, m the mountains, the rocks, nature, water, and all of that, grass, and all of that. That stuff is of God. God made it all. It, every part of it is needed. All signs is needed as one. God made them to be as such. Or whatever. It's not about uh, no astrology. It's about life. Period. It was made for God. People just turned it into something for bad. Divinations and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So they can never come to me and try to act like I don't know what I'm doing. The reason why I'm down here where I'm at. Because they know I see through them. And they want to keep me down. But God is saying you're not going to be able to keep me down. And the more you want to keep me down. You're bringing yourself down and you're going to get everything wiped out from you clean. I can walk away from here and you mark my words because you used your energy to have ill will intent towards me. And I was speaking the truth about life. Okay. So they come trying to tell me or Christian people, they think they come in and telling me something about life. I've been walking with God all my life. He's the only person I had with me. So. You know, you may have something that I need that I know that I need to know about or whatever, because I don't know everything. God don't lead us by knowing everything. That's why he tell us walk by faith, not by sight. So you have these Christian people, um, Christian people and they'll come. Oh, you're not supposed to be doing like as though I don't know. You don't know what I was doing. It's not your place to even wait to see where things are going first before you judge me. Just like you claim that I had did to you when I call you out about trying to use and abuse people. for trying, You're a pimp and you want someone to be your prostitute. That's all this world is made up of. You got people that's in high officials that's supposed to be trustworthy people. That's supposed to be honest people that are basically still pimps. Because they're pimping the whole nation to accomplish their wrongdoings. These are people that are in the government. They're supposed to be right. They're supposed to be doing right. They're supposed to be treating people equally. They're not supposed to be looking at color and all of this and doing all this stuff. But they're doing it. And they're still wrong. God see everything. And it's going to be a shifting. The shifting is here now. We all got to clean it up. You can no longer be prejudiced and think that you're going to get away with it. I don't care what business you work in. God is going to get ready. You're going to either get sick. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen to your child. Something that's going to take you away from that position that you've been uh, sitting in being abusive for all these years. 20 plus years. God is stripping you. Every one of their old paradigms, all this stuff, it got to go. These broken systems got to be made correct. Everything that's crooked got to be made straight. It got to come in alignment. And that's to do with the whole universe. God is telling you to line it up. 
it may look as though the enemy is winning the battle right now because um, they use, they link up and click up in these groups and they come against you. And though it seems like it's one person, no, God is lining his spiritual people up, the chosen ones. And as they come together and they go into battle and they start praying and they come against you to shine light over your darkness, it could be a tons and tons and tons of you. You're going to lose the battle. You're going to lose the battle. And I tell you that now. Stop listening to everything. Can no one come to me and tell me they may go and try to spread rumor and lies. Oh, she do this. She do this. She do witchcraft. Woo, woo, woo. No, I don't. And never did. That's why my subscribers haven't got up because I speak truth and people don't like to hear the truth or whatever. I don't do none of that. I'm a, a natural person. I may wear a weave. I may wear eyelashes. I may and all of that stuff. God really don't want you. God is a natural and it make us look beautiful and da, da 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 and all of that but i really for the most part i've been a natural person i love things that are natural do it the natural way love a person naturally don't make anything be forceful don't try to use witchcraft don't try to abuse your abilities or your giftings god then gave you be natural with people. Keep it balanced. Keep love. Put, put, pour out love into the world so that we can overcome these obstacles that's of darkness, all these murderings and killing and stealing and abuse and child abandonments and all this stuff. These people are sick from their childhood traumas that they're killing people. They're being so angry because they lived in poverty, been in poverty, don't see no way out. So they be jealous. So they kill the next person. They molest someone because they've been molested. And their parents did nothing about it. Or their parents did it to the point to where they can't take it. They can't live with it. Live with it. They can't live with the hurt and the pain. If your parents abuse you, sexually assault you, sexually, do you know what that could do to you? Yeah, that's going to drive you crazy. Yeah, that could cause you to go and react in ways that you shouldn't have been doing if you don't get no help. You got to want to help self, though. When these things happen to you from a child up to now to where you get grown and you got these high positions in these jobs and in these government offices and all of this and you're knowing you're sick, but you be trying to make another person that may have a low position or work at the goodwill or do this you want to try to make them look under you knowing that you're really the sick one and this person really is well off balanced and got their mental together their mental state is operating out of the proper place but they could be working for goodwill could be picking up cans could be them been doing this stuff for years mowing lawns and they work at the most bottomless jobs and you guys have got these major jobs you're sick you're evil your heart is bad you use it to the best of your ability to be in control and be narcissistic and you've been doing it for years god is coming for you you know the same devil that used you is about to take your ass out so get ready for it you know so you know you can do whatever you want to do God is sending his people to warn you, to tell you, to stop. You know it's you. You know what you've been doing. You know you're ugly. You know you've been preaching, teaching, lying, and cheating, and stealing, and practicing witchcraft the whole time in the church to uh, 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 bring people into your congregation to take their money. You know you've been sitting up here uh, uh, practicing Illuminati and witchcraft and sold your soul to the devil and you want other people's power and you've been taking their power for all this time, taking their faith, taking their place, taking their space, taking them out, using other people to gain stock people, to take other people out and it's just one person, you're sick. You are sick. You know you're sick. You need to change your ways. You need to stop fighting against it. And you need to just go on and do what you got to do. Don't be good and kind and loving to people. Change that.
Don't try to go fight against that person because they told you who you are and they call your demons out. Go and, and, and sit with yourself for a while. Go cry it out. Go, go deal with yourself like I've had to do for years. I've been a ugly, unjust, did some bad stuff. Oh, did God. And people that know better, oh, your ass is going to be torn up. Because let me tell you, the fire is up under the hot seat. Man, God, and whooped my ass so bad. Guess what? I'm not going to play with you devils. I know what it is. You can't get over on me. I see what it is. You can do whatever you want to do to me. You can try to take me out. You can try to keep me down. You can try to lie on me. You can try to cheat me. You can try to steal from me. You can try to do everything in your power to do whatever you do and think it's funny. All of that is getting ready to come right back on you right now. So get ready for it. In the name of Jesus, that it's coming back because I spoke it into the universe. I ain't got to send nothing negative to you. I ain't got to send ill will or wish upon a star or the moon or the nothing and wish ugly for you, it's going to come back because you did me wrong. It's going to come back because it was your will. You brought it on yourself. You put it out there and now it got to come back for you. It's yours. It belonged to you. All of that is yours. All that ugliness, all that energy that you use of darkness and to be demonic, you own that shit. Own up to your bullshit. And take your shit back that you wanted for someone else. They don't want your sh Keep it over there in your space. That's yours. That's not coming for me. It's coming right back to you in the name of Jesus. That's not mine. That's not my poop. It's yours. You keep it. Or whatever. So, yeah, guys. They've been stealing from me secretly, silently. If you secretly doing it, you sneaking and doing it, you ain't got no business doing it. Period. So that lets you know that you're wrong. So don't try to come for me. Come for yourself. You did it. Okay. So anyway, guys, like I say, it's a bunch of effery going on in the air. People want to try to get out here and talk a good game. Oh, you're doing people turn turn into tarot. People turning, people ain't turned nowhere. They already been doing this shit, and you've been turning the left cheek as they've been slapping your ass down and doing ugly towards you, or uh, whatever. Uh, doing divinations, they not doing no wronger than what you got in your heart. Your jealousy that you use every day to try to keep somebody down, that you don't want someone to excel, that you don't want to bless anyone else, that you don't want to give them their props, that you want to take their items and use it. You want to take their items and steal them. You want to take their items and uh, present them on your platform, knowing you got more subscribers so that other people can see it and it'll take off for you and knowing that you stole it from someone that had less than you. They're not doing no wronger than what you're doing when they're practicing that divination, tarot, and all of that. The money that y'all done took from all these poor people that came to your church building that you used God for your front street or whatever to present yourself as you were someone that you wasn't, knowing that you're a pimp in the pulpit. Okay, we don't want to hear that shit. All this shit is fakery. God forgive me for cussing. You, yeah, you'll be the one to stop me from cussing. You stop me from doing everything else. Dr uh, pills, drinking, lying, stealing, cheating, all of that. Being abusive, being a liar, being a manip. God, you took all of that away. I ain't been doing none of that for a long. I used to do a lot of that stuff when I was a younger person. I don't do none of that no more. Just like you took that, you're, you'll take the cursing away. You don't need nobody coming, trying to tell. You may send a person with a message, and if they try to do it and blast me out in the open or whatever, instead of doing it in a legitimate, loving way, I'm not going to take it. I'm not taking it. You understand me? Because I know what you're doing. So, let, with that being said, God is God. Love is love. Love people. Do better. Change your ways, y'all. And uh, just wait for it or whatever. And y'all don't be a hater. Support me. Like, subscribe. Not only that, buy some of my items, my own items. Y'all see me. I've been working down here for a long time. People taking my stuff 
or whatever, trying to use it for their best interest, like it's going to get them somewhere bigger or better. It might for the moment, but they will fall or whatever. And then I'll be looking down on them the same way they did me. So with that being said, God bless. Y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.